In this example, we will be comparing lines to determine if they are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Now, it is the slope that determines whether a line is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So since both lines are written in standard form, the first thing we need to do here is to rewrite both lines into slope-intercept form so that we can uh, compare their slopes. So let's start with line one. The first thing we need to do to solve for y in this case is to subtract 5x from each side. Last step to solving for y would be to divide by 4. What you do to 1, you have to do to all terms. That will leave me with a line, once I simplify it, of y equals negative 5 fourth x plus 15 over 4. Now let's do the same thing to line 2, rewrite it in slope-intercept form. So the first thing we need to do on this one is to subtract 4x from each side. Last step to solving for y is to divide by negative 5. Again, what you do to one term, you must do to all. Once we simplify that line, our line is y equals 4 fifth x plus 1. Now, the y-intercept has nothing to do with determining it, uh, whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. It is simply the slopes. So here I highlighted them both on uh, both lines. So if we look at their slopes, we see that they are opposite reciprocals of each other, uh, negative reciprocals of each other, which means that one sign is negative, one of them is positive, and also one of them is flipped. And those are the characteristics of a perpendicular line. So we would say that these two lines are perpendicular.